Hey guys, what's up? Andy V here, and today we're going to be doing a review on a pomade that I've really been itching to get my hands on, and that's going to be Royal Crown Pomade. Now, for you guys that don't know, there's a difference between Royal Crown Pomade and Royal Crown Hairdressing. Now, let's start off with the hairdressing. The hairdressing is lighter than the pomade. They're going to look identical when you open up the lid, but this one has a metallic lid with the stamp Royal Crown hairdressing on it. And it says right there, it says hairdressing Royal Crown. And then you have the Royal Crown pomade with a red lid, there's no stamp, and it'll say pomade. Alright, so the thing with the Royal Crown hairdressing, I'm not a huge fan of it because it's it's a little too light for me and I don't like the smell particularly. If you guys are a fan, uh, a fan of lavender, this smells like cheap lavender. <laughs> so I don't know, and check it out. If you guys, you can find it at pretty much any drugstore or beauty shop, it's always there. However, I have a hard time finding um, the Royal Crown Pomade, so I have to order this stuff online. So let's get into it. I already have this stuff in my hair from later today, but I've had a lot of requests to do a review on this pomade. So there you guys have it. This is the pomade, the Royal Crown Pomade. You can see it's white. Ingredients, same exact ingredients as the uh, hairdressing, which is gonna be petroleum, olive oil, and a fragrance. So there you have it. So there's the pomade, and here's the hairdressing. They look almost identical. I use a hairdressing as a topper sometimes. But um, I'm going to take a little bit out and show you guys. It's The consistency is it's, it's thicker than the uh, dressing. And um, when I rub it in my hands, I can tell that it's going to have a, a little bit of a hold. You know, it's, it's still a light pomade. But it still holds, you know, for me, I have short hair. So it's still going to, you know, hold my hair down. And this has been my favorite pomade, light pomade, so far. So there you have it. I'm going to go ahead and comb this stuff through. And I love this stuff. The smell on the, the, the pomade is um, a lot better than the hairdressing. I would say it's... I don't know, it's, it's really hard to describe. It, it's, it's, it's manly. and A lot manlier than the, the hairdressing. But I can't really describe the smell. Yeah, I can't put my finger on it because it's so subtle of a smell. It's not overbearing. It's not overwhelming at all. But, um, I don't know. I've heard people say it smells like cinnamon. And some people smell say it smells like cookies. I don't know. I don't think it does, but, you know, everybody has different, you know, senses and smells. So, I like it, though. Much better. So, there you go. I'm going to comb this stuff down. So see, I have very pretty, pretty darn um, short hair, and this is actually keeping my hairs at bay. You guys can see that. I did a review on um, Lucky Thirteen Medium Pomade, and I had all kinds of trouble. It's a light, it's a light. It's, it's technically it's a medium pomade. To me, it's a light pomade, and you know this stuff is considered a light pomade, and it's doing a better job at holding my hairs down than the Lucky 13 did. So I definitely like that. That's why it's been my favorite so far. It's light, but it holds my hairs down. It's still strong enough to hold my hairs down. All right, so I'm gonna slick my hair back and I'm going to look for that part. And my parts, for some reason when I'm doing the lighter stuff, my, my part's a little bit harder to do. I gotta be extra careful when I do it. And I'm gonna do it low today. Cause I feel like it, you know, some days I won't do it high, some days I'll do it low. So, uh, I'll just keep combing it through until I'm happy. Until I see where I want to part it. So for me, it's going to be right here. So there you go. There's my part. And I'm going to start from the back. 
when I'm when I'm combing my hair. Don't start from the front, and I'll, and I'll show you why. All right. So today I'm doing a you know a contour. I'm not gonna do a pompadour today since this stuff is light, but it has plenty of plenty of shade. I mean, look, my hair is glowing. It is awesome. I love it. I just love the way my hair is going right now. Alright, so. There you have it. I'm going to comb. Like I said, start from the back. And then I stop here. And I stop here because this is where I'm going to start doing the bump in the front. Let me show you. So there's the bump. I'm just gonna take the top and comb it back, comb it back, comb it back, and there you have it. It was really easy to do my hair. So let me just comb the back a little bit. But there you go, guys. It was really, really easy for me to comb my hair with this stuff. Check it out. Look at the part. Check out the sides. I really love the shine. Oh man, you guys really got to check it out. If you guys can get your hand, order the pomade. And it's, I paid, I went to pomades.com and I spent like uh, six bucks, I think. And the hairdressing is like three or four bucks if you go to to the shop so it's a couple of bucks more a lot better though definitely a lot better i believe this is the pomade that um johnny cash used in his hair back in the day and he had really awesome hair so if he managed to do that you know crazy hair that he had using this pomade i'm pretty sure anybody can so yeah guys check it out order online or if you could find it at your local beauty store or something pick it up because this is my favorite light hair dressing so far that I've used and I use I've used it a lot and I love the sheen and I love the hold it the hold is gonna stay you know you might think it won't but it will it's gonna stay and it comes with five ounces and um, yeah check it out you know there's a difference once again much better than this stuff this stuff smells like cheap lavender this stuff smells awesome <laughs> alright guys so there you have it I'll probably post, be posting a, another video on how to do your hair. I've had some people ask me how I do like my pumps and stuff, so I'll probably do a tutorial exactly how I do my hair. So until next time, there you have it, guys.